Hey everyone, it's Richard at Plum Dog here. I'm just on a commercial property out in Rockingham, Western Australia. Um, and just in the background there, you can see two backflow prevention devices. Now, these devices are on the boundary of most commercial properties. Um, and the reason is that um, commercial industrial properties, um, we, need to, uh, we need to be able to protect our water source at the water supply um, using these devices so that if there's ever an accident and chemicals spilled into the pipes, for example, that, the, uh, that those chemicals then don't go into the water corpse main, which is what, uh, what you and I use at home. We, we bathe in it, we drink it, and so these devices here are to protect us all. Now, part of having a uh, commercial industrial property is that these devices need to be installed firstly, but secondly, these devices need to be tested annually. So if you've got a commercial industrial property, uh, you've no doubt seen these types of devices behind me. Uh, one is a, a double check valve and the other is an RPZD. Now the water corp will let you know uh, every 12 months when it's time for these to be serviced. And then it's up for you to get a, a, a licensed plumber, someone who's got backflow certification like myself. Uh, to come out and, uh, and get them tested. So I'm just going to perform uh, the first of uh, the first of a few tests we do on on each valve. I've got the uh, got the equipment set up there. Uh, okay, so the first device I'm going to test is this uh, double check valve here, which is on the uh, on the fire main service. Um, so as you can see, I've got my equipment tested. Um, my tested equipment all set up, ready to go. Now these valves need to be tested every 12 months. But also our equipment needs to be tested and certified every 12 months as well to make sure that the tests we carry out are accurate. So I've got a certificate here which proves that this equipment is in test and when I submit my um, when I submit the uh, the paperwork for this for this valve once it passes I need to include the uh, the, the test uh, certificate in that um, for the water cup. So what we've got is uh, we've got the differential pressure gauge attached. Now the first test we're going to do is, is what we call test one, which is the, uh, which is the test in the, uh, the upstream chamber of the valve, which is basically the first part. So the water comes in this way. So here's the first stage and the second test that we'll do um, after this video is, uh, is test two on the, uh, on the downstream chamber. So turned off the uh, turn off the water valve there on the downside chain, the downstream side connected the high hose to test point one the low hose to test point two next thing I need to do is to open test point one and test point two and then slowly open up A on the valve and you'll start to see water come out there so that bleeds bleeds the water through and then the next one is I need to open valve B really slowly again bleed it through and then close down right, my test result is happening now the needle is going down and stabilizing now I need to make sure that the uh, the needle there stabilizes above 7 kPa I'm not sure if you can see that on there. Uh, it's pretty bright out here today, but it's stabilizing, um, stabilizing there around the 14 mark. So that is a pass on test one of this device. I'll proceed and carry out the test two, and then once I'm happy, I'll certify this device, um, and then it's on to the next one, which is the RPZD behind me. Okay, so if you've got any uh, backflow prevention devices that need testing, please give us a call at Plum Dog. We'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.